Okay, so now that our tofu is marinated, now I'm gonna just show you how to cook it. So, I don't know if you can see, but I use my toaster oven. Temperature is 425. I'll put all the descriptions in the, um, you know, down below. Um, but I just take it, I usually just use my hand. Um, and I've got this on tin foil so you guys can see it better because my pan is super dark. Obviously, I use it a ton. So I just put it on tin foil so you can see it. Um, I just lay it out. So look at how much juice I have left. So I'm going to save that. I've got one pressing again in the fridge. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna save that for, you know, cause there's plenty of it. And it's not like chicken or anything. So it's not gonna be bad that you put it, you know, all those yuckiness of the chicken or any sort of regular animal protein. So, um, and then I just salt and pepper. This is my hand. I, I like using my hands when I'm cooking. I wash them a ton, obviously, but, um, and then some just garlic powder, not salt, garlic powder. I use plenty of salt, so I don't want to get, um, yeah, I'm just not going to waste that at all. So then I'm just going to put it in the toaster oven, even though it's not ready yet, for 15 minutes. I'm too impatient to wait for it to heat up 15 minutes on on the one side and then once the 15 minutes is up then I'm gonna flip it and do about another seven minutes on the other side so it looks like the tofu is done on the first side let me show you what it looks like so that's what it looks like um, and then I'm going to, oh, I don't like this tin foil. So much for trying to use it to show you. Okay, so then I'm just gonna flip it and it's already getting pretty crispy already. Can you even see that? Like it's hard for me to see the camera. Okay, I think you can see it. Um, so, see how I can really just kind of hold it and it's so that was good so I just burned my finger <laughs> I always burn my finger um, I cook so much so uh, the remedy for that is lavender so you probably will see me using lavender a lot. I'm not a professional cook. I've taught myself, you know, hey, this is what you do when you burn yourself because it won't leave a scar. It literally will not leave a scar. So um, I burned myself here just a few days ago. I think I'll put some on there right now. Um, I just do, I burn myself quite a bit. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be making cooking videos. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna show you um, what I love to use tofu for, and it's for um, making sandwiches. So um, I love obsessed with this stuff. Um, it's a garlic creamy sauce. So most of you know I don't use any oils when I cook. And one of the reasons for that is because we get plenty of other oils in other things like this. This um, has just garlic and it has some sunflower oil and some flaxseed, lemon juice, and just tons of raw garlic. I love this stuff and I put this on my sandwiches. Love this too. Again, this has oil in it. Why should I cook with oil when I already have things that have oil in them? Um, the Mediterranean olive topping on, you can get that at Costco. You can get this at 
um, Jimbo's, Fraser Farms. Um, you can buy it online. I'll put the links to all of that. I use red onion on my sandwiches. Um, some of that's already cut. Um, and then I use cucumber, tomato, and I use, I love these spicy sprouts. So jalapenos are a must and that's basically it. That's what I put on it besides the avocado. So the bread I use, if you're gluten free, this bread just tastes the best. It's not the, I'm not saying it's the best for you. I'm just saying it actually tastes like real bread. So it's from Italy, so they know how to make bread and it's gluten free. And you know, there's not a whole lot of options for people like me out there. Um, but if you're making a sandwich with regular bread, I hate you. It's just true. Oh, that sounds like it's done. I did not plan that, honest. You guys know I didn't even plan that. So let me look and see. Oh yeah. So I kind of will touch it, yeah. So this is how I like it. Um, but you might like it a little bit crispier. This still has a little bit of bend to it, but you might like it a little crispier. So I would put it 15 minutes front, 15 minutes back for the first time you make it. I did 15 and eight, cause I don't, I, I'm used to the tofu now. So, um, no, I, I don't mind it. So I'm going to get the toast or the bread in the toaster because I like mine toasted and I'll come back and show you how to make the sandwich, put it all together. Oh my word. If you could smell this. Oh my gosh. Smell efficient. Oh my gosh. It just smells so good. Okay. So we are going to assemble our tofu sandwich. So I keep it in this. I just like to be able to see my food so I get these glass containers. I am gonna show you guys how my fridge looks and a lot of people ask, you know, what's in your fridge, how, you know, I, I wanna see what it looks like. So I am gonna show you my fridge, not today, but I will show it to you. Um, and I'm not gonna clean it up before I show it to you either. So, <laughs> um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is this garlic, cream sauce. I mean, it's about, you know, if you get a tablespoon or so, it's, I don't know, it's how many calories? I don't know. I don't typically count very many calories. Um, 30 calories, but it's all fat. So just be aware of that. And then I'm going to do this. This again, I do about a tablespoon. Um, and then I'm going to do this. This got gross at the bottom here, but don't throw them away if they get, if they look weird at the bottom, just cut the bottom off. So, which is what I did here. And typically how I slice my avocados, this is Cutco. It's the most amazing peanut butter spreader thing. And I use it for everything. So I use about a, probably a fourth of an avocado when I make my sandwiches. So it's not too much. So this is, this is all the yummy stuff right here. And I'm gonna do probably three pieces. Let's see, three pieces of, hopefully you can see that, of tofu. And I use cucumber, tomato. I love onion. Um, and then I'm gonna do my jalapenos, cause I love, spicy and then I'm going to do my sprouts here right here I don't think you can see that from there and so then the last thing I do typically is I'll add some a little salt and pepper or some people like like lemon pepper on their avocado you can do that too if you want or that bagel, that, oh yeah, that bagel stuff. I don't know if you've seen this, but that um, everything bagel, that would be really good on it. Let's use that, why not? Probably be good. Tastes like I'm eating a bagel, which I haven't had since I went gluten-free years ago. So this is it. This is my tofu bacon sandwich. And you know, it doesn't look pretty like all the other videos, but 
I can tell you it's gonna taste amazing. And I'll have to smash it down because my mouth won't fit over that. It'll, I'll eventually put it down there. Um, and I'll have some fruit with this. And this is typically what my um, lunch consists of daily. So I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know if you do. Thanks for joining me.